In this chapter, I show you how to assign materials in advanced studio mode. This body has no material yet. You would recognize that while studio materials in part, there would be material listed next to the non icon. Materials are initially taken from the system studio materials or if already assigned below studio materials in part. And the workflow is relatively easy. Just drag and drop the material upon the body and it is assigned. There's a little trick if you just want to color a specific face. Just wait a little bit until the quick pick gets displayed depending on the predefined delay. The quick pick item appears and when you release the mouse you can choose from a list whether you want to have a face or a solid body selected. Attention here, materials shall always be assigned to solid bodies, not faces. Because exchanging material afterwards is much more comfortable. And you recognize right now that the materials related to the body are exchanged, but not the material of the single faces. And it gets a little bit complicated now, because if you want to remove a material from a solid body, you can see the material of the solid body will be removed, but not the material of the single surface. So each surface related to an individual material has to be selected separately for material removal. Of course, there is still a workflow which makes life easier. If you use a rectangle, if you draw a rectangle and select all the objects, you can see there are 12 objects selected, including faces and the solid body. Then materials related to the body as well as the faces can be removed at once. You can see the carbon fiber car paint was removed from the single face as well. There is a possibility to assign a material to a face easier if you define a selection filter face. Then select those faces who shall get the new material and select the material afterwards. But do not forget to reset the filter afterwards because you normally don't need the face filter for further operations. And you can see the face material is not overwritten by just overwriting the solid body's material. Of course, there will be situations where the solid body will have a global material and some of the faces a separate material. And if it's just one face, don't forget to drag the material upon the face, wait a little bit and choose the face by the quick pick. And in the case of coloring several faces, think about the selection filter you can use. Select the faces afterwards and then select the material. 